Bonjour everyone from Quebec City, Quebec, Canada. My name is Stéphane Couture and I work as a global product support specialist for Olympus NDT. Uh, in today's video, I will present you the phase array wedge delay calibration tool from the Omniscan X3. Uh, to do so, I will be using the side drill hole from the IIW calibration block, as well as the 5L16 A10 phase array probe. To get started, uh, the phase array calibrations are located in the burger menu under plan and calibrate. Then you have phase array calibrations right here that can be uh, selected. The first step is to select the current group to calibrate. In my case, I only have one, group one, so I can move on and select wedge delay. The tool gives you option for both depth and radius calibration. Since we're using a side drill hole of a known depth, that's what we will select. Uh, you then proceed to enter the correct depth for the reflector. In my case, that is uh, 15 millimeters. The tolerance parameter is used for those uh, two red reference lines. Uh, this will not affect the quality of the calibration, but this will give you visual aids for uh, the, the verification process. Then moving on to next, this is where signal becomes handy. So you want to apply a little bit of couplant on the block, position the probe, make sure that you have good signal throughout all of the angles, like so. Then uh, to adjust the gate start, and range, you use the, of course, start and range and width parameters. Uh, the goal is to have the gate as tight as possible around the reflector so that no signal coming from other reflectors will pollute the calibration. Once this is adjusted, you can adjust the gain so that uh, the amplitude of the signal that you can see here with the 8% reaches roughly 80%. Then once you're happy with all of that, you move to one side of the angle range, press clear envelope, and then with one uh, smooth sweep, collect data for all of the angles, like so. You will see that uh, typically the signal dips at the end a little bit from 67 degrees and up, and that's totally normal. Press calibrate. And that is your verification. So you move again to the same side, press clear envelope, and you can validate that the signal is properly uh, normalized for all of the angles. Then you can press accept and the W indicator located on top here turns green. Uh, just a quick trick to have reproducible results. You want the probe to be as perpendicular as possible to the reflector or the block. So in my case, I used the two carbides to uh, actually glide on the edge of the block. You can also tilt the block on its side. However, the coupling may not be as um, regular as, uh, as with the block standing vertical. Um, you can also use a ruler or some kind of device to uh, press it against both the probe and the block and make it uh, steadier. So hopefully you've learned something today. And if you have questions, don't hesitate to contact me, uh, our team, or uh, the, your local cell representative. Thank you. Have a good day.